the question is, uh, how do I perceive how, how music is, is being cut uh, throughout the school systems and the public schools, and people have to go to private school in order to get any, uh, uh, any kind of music education nowadays. I, it's shocking to me, because uh, it's been so long since I went to school that I expect, you know, and I keep expecting kids to have the same kind of opportunities I had to, to learn music, because it was integral to the whole science, technology, engineering, math. You, you need all of it. And uh, to see that kids, and I had a public, we had public school, we didn't pay for the music. We didn't pay for our instruments. The band, the school had it. They said, here's your saxophone, play it, you know. Any uh, uh, disadvantaged kid could be a musician without the parents paying a dime, and that's the way it should be. I, I mean, because uh, it's, I, the people I know that went through this, they've become really amazing people, you know, with that, just that, and, and kept, in, uh, kept that, the ideas of, of uh, music education and how it led to the social environment, how they work together as a team to great music, how they are able to think, and, like read something and then perform and be focused and, uh, and the emotional outlet for the music is so important because it connects people with the people and you see people with a much more innocent view of the world and it's more uh, uh, it's not competitive it's about it's about uh, loving the people you're playing for and they love you back and it's it's a very intense uh, experience for me to play for people and it doesn't matter if it's in a room uh, or in some living room, or, or uh, in a concert hall, or it, anywhere in the world, it always connects. And it makes the world a more positive place. And I think if everybody played instruments, or learned how to play music, that would change the world.